We started out as a, as a school that had originally been just for uh, mostly returning veterans after World War II at Navy Pier, and we've grown into a world-class university, but still uh, dedicated to providing, particularly the students of Chicago and Illinois, uh, an affordable education. To do that, you have to have a strong faculty, and uh, the way to have a continuing f strong faculty is through having a strong union to represent us. Uh, but one of the things besides um, having new computers on our desk and uh, having a small raise in our salary is that uh, we now have a stronger voice in the governance of the university, and that's important because the faculty are probably closest to the students, closest to public service, and most dedicated to making sure that we fulfill our obligations as the public university in Chicago. One of the things that happened early when I first came to the university is I was given an American government textbook and told to teach American government. And the government textbook was pretty uh, boring, frankly. And I'm not a great lecturer. I'm a pretty good political speaker, but not a great lecturer. And so I had to redesign the course. I essentially told the department I would continue to teach American government courses if I could teach them my way. And my way has been through multimedia, it's been through student involvement, I run the intern program, I bring in more than 15 speakers a semester, including some of the most powerful political and governmental figures in Illinois. Um, I try and engage students directly in civic engagement. So we learn politics and government by doing and by observing firsthand not just by reading dry textbooks. He runs our internship program, right, which I try and recruit students to do that. Um, you know, he's really involved in civic engagement and getting the students, like, involved in their own lives and the, the community in which they live in. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Like, what I like best is when I see students who maybe and haven't really come alive and found their mission in life and found their calling uh, when somehow they turn on in a, in a class or a situation where they, for the first time, understand who they are and what they can contribute to the world.